Hello, hi, YouTube, Zach here. Uh, this video is one of our series on hyponatremia, and if you haven't seen the intro video yet, it might not make much sense. So uh, why don't you hit that button and check it out first? Or don't, whatever, you're cool, free country. To recap, you've got a patient with hyponatremia, low sodium, but a normal to high serum osmolality. What's occurring here? Remember, osmolality is a measure of how much solute there is in a solution, essentially how concentrated it is. The higher the osmolality, the more concentrated your solution, the lower, the more dilute. In a true hyponatremia, osmolality should be low, you have a more dilute solution. If osmolality is normal or high, it suggests another solute has taken sodium's place. This is known as pseudo-hyponatremia. So let's round up the usual suspects. These include proteins, as in myeloma, lipids, as in hyperlipidemia, and glucose in hyperglycemic states. Sugar, do, 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 do. Oh, honey, honey. So, if serum osmolality is normal or high, you know that you have a pseudo-hyponatremia and you should investigate for the conditions we've just talked about. Investigations would include blood glucose, lipid profile and a myeloma screen. And you go from there. Now, click here to learn what to do if serum osmolality is low.